Okay, guys, I'm here today with Marcos Buchecha, a huge honor for me. Today we are at the Checkmart headquarters here in California. My first time here, actually, super nice to be here. And we just shot an entire structure with Buchecha all about his takedowns for Gi. And it was something very special that I have never seen before because it, it's pretty much like when wrestling with Gi, which was very, very different. So today he's going to show us here one of his favorite takedowns, and I'm super, super excited to learn from him. Let's do it. Yeah, so this one I'm going to show one double leg that I like to do a lot. Of course, a lot of people know that my signature move is the double leg, like without the grips that when I shoot and when I don't have any grips. But everybody knows what I'm going to do, so people try right away, touch and shorten the distance. So don't give me the opportunity to try reach like my, my, my wrestling style. So first thing that they try to do, I try to get the lapel and a lot of times the same grip here. So we both have the same grips, lapel and triceps, right? So here, that I don't need to be like really explosive and really strong to get this take down because, because he got my grips. So it's not gonna be me shooting. So it's gonna be at the same time that I shoot, I have to bring him to me. So the first thing that I try to do in any take down, I can't be like, Stiff, like still on my feet, right? I had to be moving, keep moving and make my opponent walk. So I keep watching his feet. When I see his feet in the same line, that's the perfect timing for I work the take down, right? So like what I'm gonna do here, I bring him to me. When I see he's stepping, like his feet is like side by side, I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna open the lapel and the idea is gonna open the triceps and the lapel and keep his arm his elbows is in the same line of the shoulder. So when I have this situation at the same time, I'm not gonna shoot, but I'm gonna drag myself in. So look, I'm gonna open, and once his arms are up, I'm gonna bring it. So I'm gonna bring myself in. So look, bring and pull myself down. So look, so you see how close I finished. So doesn't really matter about your feet, but my knee, imagine that you have to step over like a line. Here, imagine that is a line between his feet and you need to step over. So once you get the situation here, right away, of course, I wouldn't stop here. In any takedown that I'm working, I touch my knee, but right away, I stand up. So I don't stay in that situation. But my hands, as soon as I go to the lapel, I grab behind the knee. So imagine that your hands are really tight and you lock, right? So as soon as you're gonna bring, so imagine that you wanna sweep his legs and at the same time, you push with your shoulder push against his hip. So it's gonna be pretty much this. Bring and push. So look, right? And you got to take it down. Of course, I stop to talk, so I end up on the close guard. But always my goal is to finish outside of the close guard. So now I'm gonna do try like in like real speed. So you guys can see like a little bit better and like a, like a real situation. So we have the situation. And you see how like in a real speed, I can finish, but I can control the leg. So always when I get the take down right away, I slide my hand down so I control the pant. Because here, he, the first thing he tried to put in the close guard, but I control. So here, right away, I connect with a pass or any different situation than the close guard. So my idea here, once I get the take down, I fight to not just to hold my opponent down, because if I just try to hold him, he's gonna try to stand up, right? So it's gonna be that fight. Me try to hold him, and he trying to stand up. So I don't wanna that. As soon as I get the take down, I force him to worry about something else. That would be what? A pass. So when he tried to stand up, I'm trying to fight a pass. So now he's worried about the, the pass. So then he's gonna fight. So now I'm good, what? Because he's not trying to stand up. He's like, oh, I have to defend, otherwise he's gonna pass my guard. Then it changes. So I give him something else to worry about. So it'll be easy for me to establish the take down and make sure that I secure my two points. So you here, she keeps in here. Uh, guys, two things that I noticed here is like, you don't just open my game my lapel, you open and you go inside like that. Yeah, That's so the same time that I open, I bring myself. So it's not just yeah, about this one. Hip and knee, so look. Man, you see? Amazing. So, of course, if I bring and stay, you're gonna like pass over me. You know what I mean? 
So look, imagine that you wanna throw the guy like when you carry something and you pull over your shoulder, right? So that's the idea. So look, you open, well, but at the same time that he comes, I hit, like hit it like a car, you know? So of course, and you don't stay with your knees. Touch the knees and stand up. So make sure that you use your 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 leg like a string. So you push. Guys, it felt almost like a hip throw. Like he opened up so much and he bring his hip in so much that I feel almost like a hip throw. So, and then I, I'll change another thing. Like when you go for a takedown, I felt a ton of pressure. This shoulder on my hip as well. So, yeah, so that, that's what I like to do. You know, the idea I bring to me and Bring the legs like this, and at the same time, kind of like hitting like a take down. So the idea is to hit the, the shoulder in the opposite direction. So the upper body gonna come, the legs gonna come, and I'm gonna hit my shoulder on the hip. So we're gonna help together like a take down. I got it. Man, that's amazing. So one more time. So real speed? Yeah. So we're here, right? So we have the situation. So I remember this one I used like in 2012, the first time that a lot of people saw is Rodolfo. So it's exactly like this. So I bring and you see right away how I hide my hook. Even if you try to get the half guard, that's gonna I gonna stop him to stand up. Yeah guys, pay attention here. He not only take me down, as he also avoid the half hook. So there's no way for me here to close the half here. Like and then he's like halfway to pass the guard as well. And I give him worry to making him worry to I make you worry to not to defend the guard pass and then eventually you gave up the, the, the yeah. take down. So yeah, that you get the two points. Oh, that was really good. So I think this one is really good because you don't need to be really explosive to do it because you, it's short in distance and it's just about the, the, oh, yeah. right, oh, the right space and the right time of the position. Yeah, yeah so guys, Bushesha is the person who has won the most world titles in the history of Jiu-Jitsu. So he's the winner's Jiu-Jitsu athlete in the history. And uh, pretty much on all his matches, he takes everybody down with like double leg and single leg, which is supposed to be very simple to do it. And uh, it's very rare to see like wrestling working on Jiu Jitsu with Gi, and he's probably the one who does that the best. And we just shot an entire structure with him, all about like his takedown system for with Gi. So it came out really, really good, and it's gonna be at bjfanatics.com soon, so make sure to check that out. Maybe by the time you are watching, it's already there. Thanks so much, Bushir yeah. Thank you very much, Bernardo. Thank you, BJJ Fanatics. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.